Welcome back, everybody. You are watching The Normal Morning Show right here on TTT and also streaming live on Facebook at The Normal Morning Show Facebook page. Now we're going to continue with this regular segment called Inside My UE. And today we're going to be speaking about gender studies on today's program. Uh, so we're going to hear from the Institute uh, for Gender Studies and Development. Now I'm welcoming to the show Dr. Sue Ann Barrett. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. So what is the purpose and key functions of the Institute? All right, the Institute for Gender and Development Studies has a threefold mandate, which is one, we are about building movements, advocacy, uh, activism, and social uh, development. Secondly, we are about teaching and learning. We are an institute for teaching and learning and training both at the undergraduate and postgraduate levels. And so we encourage students to come in at all levels to kind of expand their degrees and also expand their postgraduate training. And thirdly, we are a research institute. So we engage with multiple partners, industry, government, um, social groups, et cetera, to explore areas where we need to develop social transformation or maintain gender justice or maintain rights, legibility, and, and basically equality and equity in our society. Now let's break it down a little bit. Uh, let's get into the core of it here. What exactly is gender studies? You know, somebody may hear the word gender studies and they say, well, it is just the study of gender. But uh, yes. what is it really? I'm sure it's more complex than just that. Yes, it's quite complex. And so I'm going to streamline it for this conversation. Gender studies is an interdisciplinary field of study. It comes from multiple areas. And that study is about exploring identity, relationships, and the possibilities for human agency, essentially. So it is informed by feminist studies and feminist activism globally and in the Caribbean. And it is informed by multiple social sciences disciplines as well as natural sciences disciplines. And together, it, you come to understand masculinities and femininities. Why is this so important? Because it is through these identities, these social ways of being, that we understand who we are and who we can be. We're not just uh, Carrie and Sue Ann. We are Carrie masculine male, if that is how you subscribe. We're a Sue Ann feminine female. So gender studies allows you to explore the nitty gritty of your human self and also takes you beyond the limits of human understanding, the limits of what we take for granted about ourselves when we're born. And so gender studies is a comprehensive, interdisciplinary uh, exploration of who we are as people. How do you marry so a social science with, um, what was the other term you used? I'm not hearing you quite clearly. Uh, can you hear me now, doctor? Dr. Suan? Yes, uh, uh, I, I'm hearing? seeing you speaking, but I'm not, I'm not hearing your words. All right. What about now? Can you hear me clearly now? Yes, I'm hearing you now. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> how, do you, how, do you, how do you marry, you know, um, in, in gender studies, how do you marry that social science with, um, you know, core science itself? Well, of course, as you would know, the quality of humanness, we are both biologically uh, developed, determined, ascribed when we're born. And we are also socially constructed. As we, as we are born, we are brought into being as masculine, feminine, or somewhere along that continuum. So when we understand ourselves in our society and the opportunities and the range of things that we can enjoy as human, we must understand how our life is implicated through our biology, particularly our reproductive biology, because that's what people see, and through our socialization, our bringing, our presentation and performance of self, the way we interpret ourselves and each other in relationships, in contexts, in structures, in, in policy. So those things come together to really and truly allow a student of gender or even someone who's generally interested to take themselves beyond, okay, this is the way we are. This is how they say it is to oh, this is how I can expand my understanding of psychology. This is how I can understand why science implicates lies. This is how I can understand how we live in a climate of pandemic or, or climate change or economic instability. These are how people will experience that reality variably 
based on that reproductive biology and their social ways of being and doing. All right, and uh, we do have a hard stuff for the news, Dr. Swan Barrett. Uh, what yeah. I'd like to do is, uh, I know we have quite a bit to talk about the program as well. Uh, if we could hold on, if we could hold on to you uh, till we come back after the news and just continue and finish the topic here this morning. Of course. All right, thank you very much. We now take a short break for the news at 7 o'clock and we come back to continue that conversation with Dr. Suan Barrett, who is a lecturer with the Institute for Gender and Development at the UE St. Augustine campus. All right, we go upstairs for the news at 7, then we'll be back after that.